So what are the native tongues known for aesthetically? Okay. And if you listen to their music and you really listen to it next to like Run DMC and Def Jam uh, or something, something like that, or even, you know, Eric B and Rakim, um, you know, is man, they were digging, they were digging. Like, they were deep in the crates. Um, eclectic sampling from all different types of records. Rack, rap records. I mean, not rap. Rock records. Kids records. Um, disco records. Uh, uh, pop records. Jazz was huge. Soul. I mean, just kind of all, all, all over. Really just finding new source material. And then combining stuff in really, you know, unique ways that you may not ever really imagine um so yeah they were not looking for like james brown they they were like not sampling james brown i mean maybe maybe did a little bit uh sample him a little bit um not using ultimate breaks and beats ubb stuff their lyrics were playful fun positive happy for the most part um you know and it was you know considered like you know jazz hop hippie hop, uh, alternative hip hop, you know, whatever you want to call it at the time. They were trying to uh, label it as one of those things. The lyrics and the style and the vibe were Afrocentric, you know, and, and to kind of like, you know, they'd rock like the dashikis, the kente cloth, the wood beads, you know, uh, tam hats, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, what Afrocentricity was or is, you know, it was a pretty prominent movement, at least in popular culture, uh, in black popular culture, and some, you know, some MCs, some rappers, um, and artists, you know, was basically Afrocentricity was instead of just talking about um, <clears throat> black people in America or in general as the descendants of slaves that they were kings and queens, and, you know, and descendants of kings and queens um, in, in Africa, um, rewriting narratives um, that were Eurocentric, um, white man written narratives of history, um, and that, you know, uh, you know, black people were the center of the earth, you know, and just, you know, going back um, to Africa, uh, you know, spiritually, uh, physically going back, etc. Their lyrics also like talk about, um, you know, having fun, uh, <laughs> like general spirituality, um, sexuality, sexual exploration, um, sex in general, uh, racial equality, um, the music business they would talk about. And they were often, you know, again, like I said, called black hippies or hippie hop. Um, and man, this was just like really influential on the mu a lot of the music that came out from eighty nine to eighty four when when the native tongues was kind of ruling uh, ruling the world, you know, in so many in so many ways. <laughs>